Hey everyone, I have another uh, game today. I actually did not get this mailed to me. It was actually something I picked up at my local game store. So here's a shout out to Game Dude here in Southern California in the Valley. But I had to get this game. This is one I had back in the 90s. So anyway, here we go. Die Hard Trilogy. Now this is one of my favorite games on the system. I was a huge fan of the film, so obviously I had to get the game and the game did not disappoint. It actually has, per the name, all three of the Die Hard movies at the time. There was Die Hard, there was Die Hard 2, Die Harder, and then Die Hard with a Vengeance. I bought this for $5. It's in decent shape. It does come with the uh, instruction manual, which is the only way I would buy it, but it's in, it's in decent shape. And, um, and look at that. Someone actually left in the receipt from when they bought it back in 1999, which is three years after this was released. They bought it for $32 and 46 cents. Um, obviously I bought it much cheaper, 20 some, 20 some years later. So, at any rate, that is Die Hard Trilogy. I cannot wait to pop this in, so uh, let's go do it. So this is Die Hard Trilogy. I'm so excited. I haven't played this in years. Uh, of course, this is made from Fox. They're the ones behind the Die Hard franchise. Now, as I mentioned before, this game has all three Die Hard movies in the game. So there is Die Hard, Die Harder, and Die Hard with a Vengeance. Now, each one of these movies gets its own type of gameplay. So Die Hard, you see here, this is a third person shooter. NYPD! Hey! This one you're basically just killing terrorists as you try to rescue all of the hostages in Nakatomi Plaza. Ow. And to be honest, they actually do a decent job. I know that I know the graphics are outdated a little bit, and the controls a little wonky, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. I do remember playing this for the first time and, and, and just being blown away because I was like, oh, this is I mean it's so sweet. Now, I don't know if the character voices are the same. I don't know if this is Bruce Willis. I don't believe it is, but whoever does it does a pretty good job. So you have your basic stuff, you have your gun. You can also pick up guns throughout the level. You have grenades. It also keeps a tally of all the guys you kill up on the right hand corner there. But the goal, as I said, is to rescue the hostages. So somewhere on this level, you've got to go free every single one of the hostages. Thankfully, you do have a map, so that's good. So once you release all the hostages, it starts the countdown. There is a bomb on the level. Your job is to find the bomb and deactivate it in time. So you only have a few seconds to do it. But the first level is not that big, so it's not that hard to find the bomb. All right, so once you've stopped the bomb from exploding, you get this nice 3D model of Nakatomi Plaza, takes you up to the second level, and so on and so on, until you reach the top level. And each level that you go up, the map gets bigger, the enemies get tougher, and there's more of them. You get the gist. So it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool third person shooter. Now, the second movie in the franchise was Die Harder. If you remember Die Harder, it took place during Christmas at an airport. Please, let me drive. Like to lose. So this game is a rail shooter. Basically, you have no choice of where you're going. You just need to kill everybody that pops on the screen. These type of games were pretty big back in the day. Now you were able to use the Konami light gun for this part of the video game. So if you had that, highly recommend it. If you didn't have it, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, but it is doable. It is a little hard at first to use your controller, but uh, it does have kind of a lock on. So when you're close enough, it'll lock on to the guy that you're trying to shoot. 
but uh, graphically I thought this was pretty darn good. Sound effects are great, and it was pretty fun. Now, the third movie, Die Hard with a Vengeance, of course starred Samuel Jackson and Bruce Willis. And it's basically him going around New York City trying to stop a bomb from going off. Or multiple bombs from going off. So, in this one, it is a driving game. You control a taxi cab. Uh, I think you can also control a sports car and dump truck. But your goal is to defuse several explosives before they go off. Now that seems pretty basic, right? Seems pretty simple. But it's really not that easy. We're gonna die! I struggled a little bit just because I couldn't remember the controls all that well. But once I got a hold of the controls, it was easy for the first level to do it. Which again makes sense, you know, the, the further along you get, the, uh, the harder it should get. Now what's interesting about this part of the game is that they actually tried to use an authentic recreation of New York City, but found that when you were driving at 200 miles an hour, which is what it feels like, that an accurate model of New York City was just too small. It felt small. So you, they really weren't getting much out of it. So how did this one review when it came out? Actually not too bad. Electronic Gaming Monthly gave it uh, an 8.75 out of 10 when it came out. Uh, GameSpot gave it a 9.4. IGN gave it a 7.5. Uh, Next Gen gave it 4 out of 5 stars. And the PlayStation Magazine gave it an 8 out of 10. I totally agree with that. I, I think, for me, it was just a really awesome game. It was a must-have at the time. If you didn't have Die Hard Trilogy in your collection at the time, uh, then you really weren't a PlayStation fan. One interesting point of trivia in this is that Germany actually banned this game because of the extreme violence. For example, in Die Hard with a Vengeance, you're more than likely going to hit a lot of people driving through the streets. They're just walking everywhere, so when you make a turn and you're making it at high speeds, mind you, you actually are going to hit people and uh, there's going to be blood spilling everywhere. So uh, they actually banned it in, in Germany, which I found fascinating. And I should warn you, this is highly addictive. This, this game, you will play it hours on end. And while you may have seen this type of game before, such as the, the driving, you know, Twisted Metal being one of those that, that was similar to that, Virtua Cop, which is the, the shooter style, the rail shooter style. You could say that you've seen this game before, but you have not seen a game where it had all three different genres in one video game. So that's why I love this game. So the control on this was pretty good as well. The graphics were great, especially for the time. I mean, it's dated now, but overall, really, really good. And that's it, that is Die Hard Trilogy. So as you can see, I really like this game. It's really, really, really good. And if you're a collector, you should definitely have it. If you're just a gamer, you should absolutely have it. And uh, of course, it, I may seem like I like it a little bit. I actually like it a lot. I mean, it's not very often you get three different genres into one game. And uh, especially when it's one of your favorite franchises of all time. So highly recommend you go get this if you don't have it and uh, you'll enjoy it for hours among hours, trust me. I'm actually gonna go back and play some more, see if I can uh, at least win one of the movies. Um, but until next time, I am Scott Galaxy with The Lame Video Gamer. We'll see you next time.